hello, good morning. It's a rainy day. It's day three. It's the first day of our camp trip. Yeah, yeah. It's day three of leaving our home and it's day one of camping. So we're heading to Iowa. Got about an eight hour drive. Should get there around 7.30 tonight. We are staying at a state park there. Um, on the way, we have to get some coats to organize some things a little bit better. A lot of stuff's kind of just thrown around, so we want to be a little bit organized. It's rainy. Um, we are a little hungover. We had fun, fun light last night. It's a little bit late start this morning. So yeah, we're ready to go. So yeah, right away to Mount Rushmore. That's our goal. Get this. Yeah. Yep, it is an 18 hour drive from where we were, so we're breaking, we're breaking it up. So, we'll get there sometime tomorrow. We have drove all day. It's like 8.30. We're at a gas station. We need some gas. Me and me and Murph, me and are just playing a little bit. She's been in the car a lot. And so... <laughs> It's been a long day. Um, we're almost to the campsite we wanted to go to. Whew. All right, ready to be done driving, but it's just the beginning. Um, at some point, we'll have to show you our rig, but we'll do that um, not tonight, that's for sure. Our plan is just to stop a place, sleep, get up, get going again, and get to, get to the Black Hills area and Mount Rushmore. Right, man? Murphy, are you excited? Murphy, are you excited? You excited? Are you excited? He's um, been. He's um, been. Safe boy. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> this slight change in plans, instead of going to a campground, we decided to stay in a Walmart parking lot. If you've heard of boondocking, I think it's called. It's a thing where you can stay for free in Walmart parking lots and you need to go shopping anyways. And it was late, we wouldn't be able to use showers or anything at the campground and we plan on leaving in the morning. So it just made the most sense. And so we're at this Walmart and there's a couple more people doing the same thing, I think. So we're just cleaning up the camper, going to bed, and waking up early in the morning. everything as far as utility, uh, cargo carrier, and get everything up there that we don't need all the time. And we also need to uh, organize our personal lines that we need all the time so they're easily accessible. We can't open the back of the Jeep or hooked up with the mom. So, uh, it's kind of a late night. But it slept pretty good, Murphy slept pretty good. We were pretty comfortable in the old uh, camper with all three of us in there, uh, no problems there. And we we're going to Black Hills. Uh, Murphy had an accident this morning and he took a nose dive out of the side of the camper while we were getting ready. Uh, we thought that his luggage going to keep him in and he ended up pushing it over and then flipping over it and yeah, face flipping. So he got some scrapes on his nose and his back face. He was very sad this morning. But he's okay. I'm like very like sad about it. I wasn't there after the Just me. I was in Walmart. He has some scrapes and he's really sad. I think seems okay. He's okay. So that's see it. You back there. We got 10 hours on the road today. And uh, 
should be getting into Black Hills area around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. We drove straight into the night and we made it to Wall, South Dakota. We crashed at a beautiful campground overlooking the Badlands. We woke up to this beautiful sunrise the next day. in the Badlands, we had a good night's rest, and this is the place we actually ended up staying. It's really cool. Shouting bird. Say hi! And so, yeah, the plan today is to do a few hikes in the Badlands, then head to Mount Rushmore. So, um, if you remember, we actually were planning on staying here in the Badlands at all, so it's a very unexpected surprise, and we're glad it worked out this way. okay the next day after his fall. It's as if nothing even happened. After we packed up camp, had breakfast, we headed into the Badlands National Park. On our way in, we were greeted with antelopes and prairie dogs.
sign. After doing some hiking, we got pretty hungry. So Sean put together a snack. You've got to make the fanciest meals for this type of trip. <laughs> Ever. Like. Now we're driving up to Mount Rushmore area and we're finding a place to stay in a campground. We're filling up our tank right now with fresh water and our propane tank. And so the plan is to get into camp next hour or so, make dinner, sleep, rest, see Mount Rushmore in the morning. So we'll see how that goes. We're really impressed with South Dakota. It is very diverse landscape. Um, you get the Badlands, a bunch of grasslands in between, and then we're hitting these the Black Hills, and it's beautiful. It's you don't expect it. It's completely different terrain than the Badlands in that part area. Both beautiful in their own way. It's vastly different. Um, we saw some deer riding in. I saw some turkeys. We're definitely seeing the wildlife, which is fun. Um, give me a little fact about the Iron Mountain Road. It's 17 miles, it's 314 curves, 14 switchbacks, three pigtails, three tunnels, two splits, and four presidents, which I'm not really sure uh, what that means. But uh, anyway, we drove on that with Bob. And, uh, Hills area and uh, behind me I got the Traeger warming up. We're gonna do some chicken breasts and then uh, I'm also later I'm just gonna cook up some venison roast, uh, slice them thin, make sandwiches for later. Um, got my uh, water boiling here on the uh, cook stove. Just doing some <coughs> Idaho and potatoes. Jeep pulled pretty good. I had an airbag issue yesterday night uh, coming down uh, I-90. Ended up having to pull into a rest area, uh, jack the driver's side up a little bit, and uh, getting the uh, air hose back connected to the driver's side airbag in the rear. But uh, definitely needed a lot of tongue weight on this trailer for some reason. Uh, I think it's because it's so short, we got a lot of stuff up front. Loaded down with water and everything, we're over 2,200 pounds. So. Uh, for the cheap, uh, not too, not too bad, honestly. But uh, yeah, and then you can see we went hiking today in the uh, Badlands, and I got I got my sunscreen still on because it was 90, 91. So anyway, just checking in, just giving you a little, little insight. In the morning, we we're finally able to see where we stayed the night at. We could take a look at the campsite around us, and it was actually pretty beautiful in its own way. quickly at camp the best thing to do was put Murph in this cozy onesie and let him roam around. got a quick nap in we got him up like we had to do unfortunately to head to Mount Rushmore
is visited by nearly 3 million people annually. Overall, the project cost almost a million dollars and took 14 years to finish. As you can see, there are four presidents carved into the mountain. The first one was George Washington. He was the first president and represented the foundation of American democracy. Second was Thomas Jefferson. With the Louisiana Purchase, he greatly expanded the nation. He was also the author of the hugely influential Declaration of Independence. Thirdly, Theodore Roosevelt, he not only represented the industrial development of the nation, but he was also widely known for conservation efforts. Lastly, but not least, Abraham Lincoln. As the president during the U.S. Civil War, he represents the preservation of the nation above all costs. What are you eating right now? Got some Thomas Jefferson ice cream. Is it good? Original recipe. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Or if you want some. Or you can have it. Oh. Alright, so update. We are at Mount Rushmore for the morning. What did you think about Rushmore? No, I mean, the most impressive thing I've ever seen up close, like as far as the body. We did a, a guided walking tour. Well, not a self guided, I guess. Yeah, self guided. You had your own, like, your piece. And that's like, dress your own thing. Yeah, that was really informative. Um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty amazing. I would recommend it. And then we went to Crazy Horse. Yeah, we went to Crazy Horse uh, Memorial. Found the world. That's also a whole thing of Native American. Tired. We decided not to cook dinner at the campsite. We got a beer, some pizza, and hung out before heading back for the night. It's a beautiful morning. We, yesterday, you might have been able to tell we were pretty tired. A bunch of crap went wrong yesterday. Well, we sold our house, which is awesome. That all went well. We got everything out of the house. John's brother did it, which is very great of him. And just like our car insurance randomly got canceled without us knowing and just like Matthew's upset. And so, I don't know, just yesterday was just a draining day. And then just being around a bunch of tourists all day was just hard. So um, we got back and to top it all off, our solar panel didn't charge and all our food went bad. So Sean this morning, it was late when we got back. I mean, it was like 7.38, it was already dark. We couldn't do anything, we went to bed. Woke up this morning, the solar panel's still dead. Well, the, the power is dead. Um, the fridge is supposed to be on propane. It's we think it's draining the battery, but something's wrong with the fact that 
it's not recharging, so that's the plan for today to figure that out. Um, yeah, that's life. Things just go wrong, and you just gotta figure them out. Right, man? left our beautiful campsite in South Dakota to look for a place to check our batteries for Bob to figure out why why things weren't staying charged and why our refrigerator died and we had to get rid of all our food so we had to go grocery shopping as well. Um, we were heading west towards Wyoming is the plan. <laughs> 